Balls with cows of jolly, fa la 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 la. Tis the cheese layered bowls of broccoli, fa la 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 la. Mystery solved. What mystery? The one as to why you chose guitar over singing for your musical troupe. Why? Thank you, Livingston. And if I wasn't completely imbued with the Christmas spirit, I most certainly would have quickly counted your thinly veiled derision with a stinging and witty retort. Merry almost Christmas and welcome to Creature Features! While we're not quite ready for the cherished holiday of Old Saint Nick, Tangela is deep into the task and soon should be ready to go out and slay us a lovely Christmas treat. But fruitcakes and gingerbread and eggnog aside, we'll be doing our part to bring Yuletide joy with tonight's film, which is Silent Night, Bloody Night. A grisly tale from 1972 starring Patrick O'Neill and John Carradine. This film is absolutely dreadful. That it is. And wonderfully deadful. And furthermore, joining us to watch this Christmas calamity will be Steve and Anna Morales, two talented performers who will be exhibiting their skills at this year's Dickens Fair in San Francisco. They'll be telling us about the show, watching the film with us, and bringing mirth and merriment to every corner of the house where Livingston has left his humorless temperament lined about. So stay with us for a merry night of mittens, mistletoe, cider, presents, and garlands here on Creature Features! Batman does not smell, nor has Robin laid an egg. You silly lass. Stay tuned! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. the House of Rock in Santa Rosa, and you're watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Creature Features and Merry Almost Christmas. It's not quite there yet, right? Oh, it's Christmas every day for us. <laughs> oh, of course it is. We are with Stephen and Anna, and they are from the Dickens Fair. I love that event. That's so nice to hear. No, I, it's it's like I try to go every year, and I, I think I missed it last year. Because <gasps> I know, I know, I feel terrible. You know, it's nice to be able to visit old London. Absolutely. Even though it's not really old London, it's close, right? 
Well, we try to make it, it so. <laughs> you guys succeed. <laughs> you know, try, you do. So you do all kinds of things, but the one that you're doing on these upcoming weekends mm -hmm. is part of something called... The Paddy West School of Seamanship, where we produce the, the best, best seamen, seamen in, in London. London. Oh, my goodness. There's a double entendre there, <laughs> no. isn't there? No. It's all, all about right. So they are sailors, right? And you That's sing right. and you mm -hmm. perform. That indeed we and do. And you're part of a very large group. We are. There are 19 people in our group, and it's right. throughout the year, it's all pirate, nautical, mm -hmm. maritime. And we were talking uh, before we started rolling about the uh, Pirate Festival. We're going to talk about that soon. Lovely. But it's, it's almost Christmas. We have to talk about Dickens Fair because that's the thing. I love this event. I specifically asked to have somebody from the Dickens Fair, and they sent us their best representatives. Aww. <laughs> so we're going to get the full background on you guys, but before that, we've got to start this film. It's Silent Night. Bloody Night. Have you seen it? Ooh, yes, yeah. we have. You have? <laughs> All right. Well, good. Because I've seen it as well, so it's going to be no surprise for none of us, but maybe the folks out there have oh, not maybe. seen it yet. It's kind of gory. Yes. <laughs> for the 70s, it was gory. <laughs> I know, but it was, it's, it's like, it's, it's strange. They it tried to make it artistic and gory. Artistic. It, it is, quite. But, you know, it's, 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 it's a good film. And we have a good copy of it, so. Oh, good. Let's see. All right, let's do it. Off we go. Silent night, bloody night. Stay with us. One last time, I have to see this ground. It's beautiful now, as if nothing had happened here. Soon they will tear down the main house, and then nothing will be left. Nothing except what I remember. I grew up in the town nearby, where my father was the mayor, and where this house stood waiting for me. It was built by Wilfred Butler. We had never seen him, and he never lived at home, until the day before Christmas in 1950, he finally did come back for the last time. us believe that his death was an accident. No one knew that another person had come to Butler House that Christmas. Deputy Coroner of the County of Arlington, State of Massachusetts. I hereby find upon evidence of an autopsy conducted by the medical examiner of this county that the deceased, Wilford Butler, died as a result of burns inflicted accidentally upon himself on his own premises during the afternoon of December 24th, 1950. No further inquiry shall be held over the body of the deceased and this inquest is officially closed.
After the coroner's inquest, on New Year's Day, they buried Wilfred Butler. There was no one there to mourn him. It was the funeral of a stranger. Wilfred Butler, being of sound mind and body, at least what the world considers sound, do hereby leave my house and its grounds and all personal effects within that house to my only surviving relation, my grandson, Jeffrey Butler. And I solemnly charge him with one duty. Let him leave the house as I left it, standing untouched to remind the world of its inhumanity and cruelty. For 20 years, that house lay empty, exactly as Wilfred left it. And then, last year, Rumors began that it was finally being sold. The newspaper story traveled through the county to a state hospital for the criminally insane. The man who came to sell the house had never seen it. He was a lawyer from the city, just doing a job and enjoying it. Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information.
You're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Vincent, this is Tangella, and we just want to remind you we've got a wonderful website. It's at creaturefeatures.tv, and at that location we've got things like previous episodes, our merchandise, we've got photographs of the entire gang, including Tangella and her hideous friend. So be sure to come see our site. You'll love it. Burning men. You don't see that in films too often anymore, do you? Mm -hmm. Not for that length of time. <laughs> it's a long no. burn. Well, you know, it used to be like in every single film, you'd see that one man, and it seemed like it was always the same man who would be wearing the fire suit, and he'd be doing that same fire dance of, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, you can't put me out. <laughs> All right, we are here with Steve and Anna, and they are from the Dickens Fair, which is like one of my favorite events. It's it's the epitome of Christmas, right? It is. It is. Christmas Eve all day long. So, the Dickens Fair, how long does that uh, run? When, 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 Through, when? From mid-November right to the weekend before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. So, you could almost be there on Christmas Eve, but not. Almost. Almost. Well, year. who would want to be? I mean, you're working, right? You don't want to be. It doesn't feel like work. <laughs> no, no. It doesn't. Well, I imagine a, a conventional Christmas must be a bit boring for you after spending all that time at Actually, Dickens Fair. Christmas is kind of, Dickens Fair is kind of like a Christmas tradition it for is. us. It is. You're probably done with Christmas <laughs> by the no, time. No, no, it goes. really makes you feel like you've experienced I, Christmas. I think, I think that the nickname is uh, Christmas on steroids. <laughs> oh, I would completely agree with that assessment. So how did you two get involved in this? Oh. Well, let's see. I started way back in 1985 at the original Renaissance Fair in Black Point. 1985. And wow. I joined a group called the Sea Dogs, which had been a booth until that point in time. Right. And 1985 was the first time the Sea Dogs were elevated from the lowest of the scum to become an actual performance guild, what, which is what they called them at the time. Mm -hmm. and, and you're still with the Sea Dogs? I sure am. Now I've been well, running the Sea Dogs for almost 30 for years. That's like how many years? <laughs> Oh, 33, 34. Oh, <laughs> yes, he has a uh, painting up in the sea uh, attic. Right. He doesn't look his age. <laughs> oh, I yes. see. I, I know that film, that story. What yes. was it called? Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray. That's right. You know, I went to school with a lad named Dorian. And I wish he was like in the photo. He was he was not very nice. Oh. All right, so you started at the Renaissance. <laughs> yes. so, yeah. What about you? How did you start? Um, I also started at Black Point in right. the early 90s. Right. And I joined a sword fighting group at the time. Oh. And so when She's I met vicious. Steve, um, I actually met Steve at another event called Rail Fair much later. And, Rail uh, Fair? That, after I met him, it took a few years for him to convince me to give up my sword fighting for singing. <laughs> oh. Well, I suppose it's better than sword swallowing, right? Yeah. Hard to sing with the sword. Hard to sing with the sword, Oh, yes. right, right, right. All right, well, we're going to get the rest of the story, but first we're going to get back to this film. It's going to get better, right? I don't remember it very well. Mm. I think it will. Of course it will. <laughs> I know it will. Positive thinking, positive yes, thinking. Yes, yes. All right, off we go to Silent Night, Bloody Night. Stay with us. The question is, well, do you still want the house? Are you offering it to us, Mr. Carter? Exactly. Why now? Well, that's Mr. Butler's business, isn't it? You know we're not rich. Most of us came here during the Depression. But we love this town. It's our home. And naturally, you want to improve it. Exactly. 
My client understands that, and he fully sympathizes, and he's willing to sacrifice the house for $50,000 in cash by noon tomorrow. That's an awful lot of cash. It's also an awfully good bargain. You could go to Wilton. You could go now to the bank. Am I clearly understood? All that cash. Perfect. I'll wait for your answer till tomorrow. You're spending the night here? Yes. May I ask where? At the butler house. We could put you up at the motel as our guest. No, no, the house is fine. The Paradise Motel. That's very kind of you, but I'm, I'm meeting Mr. Butler about some uh, personal items. You'll want a phone. I can reconnect the line. D don't trouble, please. No trouble. You'll need a phone. Don't want to be stuck out there. Well, you've uh, convinced me. Thank you. By the way, have you known Mr. Butler a long time? No, I've never met him. He called me and asked me if I'd handle this for him. I said yes. He had the key delivered to my office. Mr. Mayor, Sheriff, Mr. Tolman, Ms. Howard, see you all tomorrow. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Slick. He's a big lawyer, Bill. You've got to expect that. Don't tell me about lawyers. Oh, you see the way he looked at us? You see his clothes? He's doing his job. Just don't tell me about lawyers. You know what I'd like to see? Two of them like that when talking to each other. Neither one of them would know what to believe. I love you, too. Honey, when I get home, I'm going to have a nice, nice surprise for you. Oh, no, I can't tell you what it is now. It wouldn't be a surprise, now, would it? No, no, I can't come home now, but it'll be very soon. Very soon. Co Honey, of course I miss you. Yes, yes, I, I miss Mommy, too. Uh, Laura, how are you, kid? So I'll call tomorrow. Uh, no, I want to call. I want to talk to Jenny. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I'm, uh, I'm having a fine time. Well, same to you, darling. What do you mean, hostile? I was wondering, if we get it, what then? Tear it down. Okay. Okay. I'd better get going. Do me a favor, Tess. Call Diane, tell her I'm going to Wilton, and I'll be back late. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Butler wasn't kidding. Nobody's lived here for years. That would be such a waste. It's his grandfather's monument. You know, the caretaker who keeps this place just the way he left it. What kind of monument is this? <laughs> well, that's the trouble. 
Nobody remembers anymore. That's what usually happens in America. I remember this. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I'm his own. And he walks with me, and he talks. kid in Chipley, Georgia. There's also a Chipley flower, though. But they have both been subsequently eradicated from the map. None other has ever known. Store.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Lisa, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> But I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <sighs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked, too. It's blocking time! Theory Ranger 1, King! Hi, I'm Catherine Sutherland from Power Rangers, and you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. Tangella kicked Steve and Anna out of the chair for a moment so we could do letters. You know, why do you do that? They could have just stayed for letters. She's so mean all the time. Well, not all the time. Most of the time. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Uh, letters. Letters. Of course you have letters. For, oh, my goodness. This is a small novel. Novelette, I think. Novelette. Called. All right. It's on, it's on instruction tissue. All right, this one is from Leo Bigley, and he's in San Mateo. He put his full address. Should we read the full address? Probably not. All right. He's in San Mateo. That's all we'll say. 
All right, he goes, uh, I can hardly express the debt of gratitude I have to all of you on Creature Features. Bob Wilkins is looking back from whatever dimension he has transcended to and smiling on the three of you with a tear in his eye. Oh, my goodness. This is this How is, poetic. It is quite poetic. How poignant and well-deserved you tributes are towards him and the entire Bay Area Creature Feature community. I petition the Bay Area horror, fantasy, film, and gaming community to support your broadcasts in every way they can, either through positive feedback to your sponsors or simply watching and corresponding with encouragement. Well, I'm speechless. And not so much for what he wrote, but because I'm out of breath. But no, thank you for the wonderful letter, Leo. This is very nice. You know, I think this man has a career in, like, copywriting. He should be writing, like, press releases and things. He should be our publicist, right? If you need a job, Leo, call us. All right, what's up next? How are you, Tangela? You didn't cut down the tree yet, have you? No? Are you going to get a big one or a small one this year? A fat one? Oh, that's good. We haven't had a fat one. You know, last year we had that one. It was, I don't think it was real. It did not smell like pine needles. All right, we've got a letter from Jim. That's all it says, Jim. We don't even know where he's from. All right, Jim. We've got his email address. Should we read that? No. No. All right, Jim. Hello, Creature Features. I'm an old-timer native San Francisco who really enjoyed Creature Features on KTVU. What's KTVU? I always hear this. Fox 2. Oh, it's a TV station. Yes. All right. I appreciate you giving tribute to Bob Wilkins in the old show, but I really like your current version too. I'm a musician, and I'm rather fond of organ music. Is the organ on your set real or just a prop? Well, there's, there's two issues with this statement. First, he's, he's implying that we're on a set. And secondly, he's implying that my very expensive, rare organ is a prop. From Austria. From Austria. No, that's a real pipe organ. And in fact, yeah, we're going to play it one night, just so you guys know. It's loud. You know, The pipes aren't too big like in a church, but no, it's really loud. And you know, pipe organ was my first instrument before I took up guitar, right? Indeed. So now I just play the pipe organ. So we're going to do that right now, one night, right? If you right. wish. Just for Jim whatever your last name is. Thanks for writing, Jim. So and last a, up. We have oh, a package. Oh, a box. to Miss Tangella. Oh, Tangella. Well, I get to open it first. No, wait. It could be something that's sharp. I have to make sure it's safe or for explosive. you. Or explosive. I've already so, tested it. This is from Wendell's. And it sounds like a business. The Wendell's. It is it the Wendell's? The Wendell's. The Wendell's. Ooh, you don't even know what it is yet. It could be a box full of rocks. She would like that, wouldn't she? Box of, she has right. a box of rocks. Oh, you are going to like this. It's, it's, a, it's a pumpkin thing. Oh, my goodness. A pumpkin thing. Look, it's a pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh, it's a headless oh. pumpkin thing. You go, no, this is what you do. You go like this, and you go like that. Isn't that nice? Do you like that? Should I give it to her? You have no choice. I have to give it to her. Thank you so much, Wendell's. That's going to make her day or her evening. It seems to be a card. But you it? can't put that on the top of the tree because that would be inappropriate. All right, that's it for letters. If you'd like to email us a letter, you'd use this address here. And if you want to mail something silly or wonderful to Tangella, you would use this address here. Either one works. And we will see you on the other side of Silent Night, Bloody Night. We'll be back with Steve and Anna. Stay with us. Oh dear. It must have been wonderful. What? The people who lived here. They must have had a wonderful life. Well, I hope they did. Wilfred Butler must have believed in something. Look at that stone fireplace. Parquet floor. The mahogany. This table. And you probably think this place is made of wood, right? Well... Wrong. You know, his grandson told me. Underneath that wood, there's two feet of stone. The foundation is eight bricks wide. Now, someday, they're going to come in here, and they're going to tear this place down, and they're going to build little tract houses all over this property on quarter-acre and half-acre lots. 
And that bulldozer's gonna come up that hill toward this house. And it's gonna get the surprise of its life. He built a kingdom out here. I mean, nobody's left. No? Butler has a grandson. No. Well, he's probably like the rest of us. Wants money. You know, he's asking $50,000 cash for this place, and if he only way he can get, or oh, he can get at least 250000 But he won't take his time. So he'll get screwed. Do you want to go upstairs now? So, you know, one of the great pleasures in life is the pleasure of anticipating pleasure. Isn't it? We are very close now, aren't we? Sure, honey. Very close. I don't see any beds yet. Well, keep looking, honey. Butler said the place was furnished. It's furnished. Anything doing? No, sir. But look at this. More football, huh? Look how they smeared that quarterback. Look at his arm. Got no time now. Go test. How about that telephone up at the Butler house? Is it working? Well, try it now. I'll wait. Hello? Oh, yes, Miss Howard. Yeah, the phone's working fine. Very nice of you to call. Thank you. Good night. Honey, I'm going down to the car to get some cigarettes. Be back in a minute. Okay. Don't get lonely. No, no. Your cigarettes? Yes, yes, I did. May I have one? Sure. That's the most amazing thing. These cigarettes come in these very small packages these days. Oh, that's for me? Mm hmm. Can I open it? Oh, no, no, no. Our Christmas is day after tomorrow. Is that an order? Yes, ma'am, that's an order.
Someone's calling from Butler House. Okay, put them on. Go ahead now. Mr. Carter? I'm not Carter. Who is this? The Honor. Butler. I'm worried, Cheris. Carter's not here. Speak up, I can't hear you. What is it? What's wrong? His car is here, but he's gone. Won't you come? Okay, okay. Now you stay put in that house. I'll wait for you. Please, hurry. I, I'm afraid. Now take it easy. I'm coming. <sighs> Mr. Butler, are you done? What's that? Yes. I want to see you again. Hello? Who is this? You know me, Tess. It's Mary Ann. Tell the mayor. Tell them all. I'm waiting in my father's house. Tess. It's so lonesome. Hello? 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 Is everybody? Hello? Oh, Maggie, thank goodness. What is it, Tess? Something's come up. Something urgent. Can you start early? Oh, honey, I'm watching TV. Maggie Daly, you get yourself over here. What is it? Just get moving, Maggie. Just please hurry. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever.
Tiffany. We're in Oakland at the Kraken Con. You're, You're watching, watching North, North Bay, Bay TV. TV. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the show. I think those two are dead. <sighs> dead yeah. in bed. What a way to go. Very sad. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're going to go somehow, that may not be the worst way to go. You know, I, I think that woman is British. She's beautiful and she has completely heinous teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not true. You know, most British people have actually very good teeth. Dentistry is like a big industry now. Right. But like in the 1800s or when people like you singing sea shanties were around, it was a bit different, <laughs> a bit different. All right. So we're talking about the uh, Dickens Fair, which I love and you guys love because you do it every single year. For a very, very long time. <laughs> very, very long time. So what's some of the stuff people could see there? First thing to understand about Dickens Fair is it's, it's uh, divided into classes. So when you first walk into the fair, it, you're coming into Fezziwig's Dance Parlor where there's live music and live dancing. Right. And as you progress through the fair, you get to lower and lower class London, uh, which is more like where you yeah. find us, down right. at the docks. And that's where we start here in the Cockney, right? That's right. In the Cockney. <laughs> so it's stronger back. and stronger. Oh, you do it quite well. Right. Let's hear some more. Oh, that's right. Oh, my goodness. It's my favorite thing to say. You sound like my aunt. Huh? She speaks that <laughs> way, and we've, we're always trying to correct her, and it's like, don't speak like that. You know, I, I think it's like the equivalent of somebody here in America with a southern accent. It's like, no, you need to speak proper American. You know? <laughs> but, I, you know, I like southern accents, and I like Cockney as well, so speak it all you want. It's an easy accent. Oh, it In is. fact, I have a hard time spitting it out by the end of the run. <laughs> oh, I, I would imagine it'd be difficult to turn off. It is. Right. It's oh. a very lazy accent. <laughs> All right, but this event, it's, it's great for adults and children. Oh. It's great for everyone. Everyone. And it's, it's huge. There it's, are seven stages of continuous entertainment, not I mean, to mention countless immersive areas. It's the Cow Palace. I mean, they used to keep cows there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Funny that you say that. We come in right after the rodeo is finished, so they've done their best job they oh can of goodness. cleaning all the, the smell of the cows out. Yes. Well, I, I suppose it brings in a bit of air of authenticity in London, right? Maybe. Right. Yeah, who knows? All right. So there's all kinds of things to do. There's adult stuff, there's kids stuff, and oh, of course the, the shopping. I love the shopping. The shopping oh, is God. wonderful. I'm Everything's always buying handmade. clothes when I go in chapeaus. The craft the crafts that, that they make there are amazing. Oh, and yes. You can't find them usually anywhere else. Right, so. and the food. Mm -hmm. The food the is fine. very good, too. My complaint about the uh, clothing, though, it seems a bit bent towards women. It's not too many men's selections in that. It's all, like, bodices There's, and things like that. You could get a men's corset, as a matter of fact. Well, <laughs> you know, I might need one pretty soon. <laughs> all <sense>. right, <laughs> I'm getting the clock sign. It means we've got to get back to the film, but when we come back, we're going to talk about the Pirate Festival, right? Ooh. I love the Pirate Festival. All right, off we go. Silent night, bloody night. You guys stay with us.
Come in. It's open. Okay, mister, that's far enough. What do you want here? Mayor. Try again. My father's not home. And don't move. You want me to put my hands up? No. Just stay there. What are you staring at? I seem to remember you from the road. That's why I'm holding a gun. You scare me. Well, that makes sense. Thanks. Does everybody carry one here? You can ask the sheriff when he gets here. I'll call him. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the, uh, the sheriff's office is empty. How do you know? I was just there. Who are you? A Jeffrey Butler. Oh, you're the one who's selling the house? Yes. Have you any ID? Come on. Don't laugh at me. I want your ID. Some maniac escaped from Margaretville. Okay. Put it on the table. Now go back. California license. Lucky you. Would you like to see my maniac card from the asylum? They give you one when you escape. There's a big scarlet M on it so people won't get confused. Okay. Look, I'm sorry about the gun. My father's in Wilton getting your money. All I want to do is to get into my house. The sheriff's deputy might have a key. He's about the only one I know of. Well, where is he? You go down the road about a mile and a half till you come to a white house with a white fence, and then you can't miss it. Thanks. That's okay. Merry Christmas. Same to you. If I don't call back in an hour, what? Call the mayor or Mr. Tone and nobody else. Promise me you'll do that. Well, sure. Mark it down, honey, so you'll have it. Sheriff to 301. I'm heading west on Route 5 to Butler House. You'll hear from me. What the hell? There's that light out there. Did you find the deputy? No, I wasn't there. Oh. I was thinking, isn't your lawyer supposed to be at the house? 
The door was locked. His car was there, so I borrowed it. You mean you stole a car? Yeah. I'm uh, keeping it warm. What if he needs it? Let him find me. Who's coming to dinner? Oh, Daddy. We always have dinner every Thursday. Do you want something? No, I hate the uh, Paradise Motel. Yeah, I know. It's awful. What about a drink? Yeah. It's uh, cheap bourbon, but that's a big favorite around here. Do you want ice? No, straight. You look tired. I am tired. Well. Here's to a fast dollar. Cheers. Why did you decide to sell the house? Needed the cash. After all these years? I need it now. Huh. What's it like on the inside? You know, I've never seen the inside. When I was a child, my father told me to stay away from it or something terrible might happen. Sort of like a haunted house. I haven't seen it either. You're going to sell it and you've never seen it? Yeah. I don't know. It's too bad. It's about the only place to see around here. Oh, I forgot. Someone keeps calling with a message for my father. She says that she's waiting at your house. In the reception room. What woman is waiting in my house in the reception room? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not a voice that I know. I better go out there. Can I come too? What for? I'm pushy. This is Chris from Pleasanton. I just wanted to thank Tangella Livingston and Vincent were a fantastic show, uh, The Werewolf of Washington, uh, was something I could really sink my teeth into. And I really enjoyed the guests as well. Keep up the great work, you guys. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. I'm Crazy Boots Martin. And James the Red. At the NorCal Pirates Festival. And you're watching North Bay TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> Guests of the show stay at the Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa in Santa Rosa. A shovel over the head. <gasps> you know, when I saw that, I, you know, I thought to myself, this is something Tangella would do. She, you know, she's so cruel to her handyman. 
she she would she would, she hits people with shovels and she digs graves she digs up <laughs> graves no she pulls out bodies I, I you know i think they're like dolls to her i don't know I it's strange that. anyways this movie uh the sheriff is gone how sad every town needs a sheriff and they just lost one due to a, a shovel homicide all right enough of that let's talk about you in the pirate <laughs> festival yes. another one of my favorite events as you all know i was telling you earlier about the mermaids that's oh. a lovely surprise the I know. Bar, <laughs> what they call the dive bar the dive bar mermaids right, that's correct right. no they're the wonderful and you built the tank with we built the original tank. We're actually yeah. on the second iteration of the tank. The first one was wood, and it didn't hold together over the years as well as we would have I liked. I imagine <laughs> it would not. So you're part of the organization. Yes, there are three couples that produce the Pirate Festival. We're one of those three couples. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And you're like founding fathers and mothers. That's Pretty absolutely much. correct. Looks I like think this wonderful. is our... Uh, 12th, 13th year now. It's such a fun event, and it's every Father's Day weekend mm -hmm. in Vallejo. Vallejo, right. Right on the right waterfront. on the ocean, and you have, like, the cannon battle. Cannon battle, oh, real I pirate ships. That. Yeah. I love that. You know, it, the sound of a cannon, there's nothing like it. It just, boom, <laughs> in the You heart. feel it. When, right. when the cannon battle starts, literally, it feels like the festival goes like this. Everybody runs to the water. Of course. And it's just it ha it's amazing to behold. And much like the uh, the Dickens Festival, this is kind of a thing with sections and different things going on. Mm -hmm. not oh yeah, quite there's a children's stage, absolutely right. children's stage. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's not an, a naughty stage at the Pirate Festival. No, no. There is yeah. a naughty stage but at Dickens. <laughs> since it's an outside event, you've got like all kinds of ride things. I saw people on wires flying. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could fly at the Pirate Festival. It's Bungees and zip lines. and <laughs> Zip lines, that's what they call yeah. them. That's what it was. And then the giant bouncy things. and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, and then all kinds of pirate hats. And you know, the pirates, they're quite believable. We have some amazing groups of people who are very dedicated to doing the actual historical pirates. Right. And then we also, because we wanted to have it pirate theme overlay instead of full, you know, historical only, we encouraged more modern aspects of it in some of the other groups. So and there's lots of steampunk. Oh, yeah. Exactly, steampunk, pirate rock bands. Right, yeah. right. No, 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 it's nice. And you know the location, I, I, I love that location because, you know, in June it's like usually hot around here and it's always nice and cool except for last One year. dreaded year. Two years yeah. Ago. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, it was terrible. It, it was, was just We know like what you're, you're talking 110. about. 110. <laughs> it was amazing. I've never seen it because you're right on the water. You would think it would not be that hot. And it's June, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. June. It's incredible. So you guys have been doing that for... How long? I think we're on 2007. Our, this will be our 13th year next year. 13 yeah. years. Lucky 13. Wow. Yes. Wow. What's amazing. the theme? Do you have like a theme? We haven't do? chosen it we this year, but you're, very, you're obviously correct. We There's do. a theme every year. I want, to <laughs> give you, I want to give you some input on this. I've got ideas. All right. I've we'll take ideas. it. All right. Let's get back to this film. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about more stuff, right? All right. You guys stay with us. You guys stay with us because we're going to start the film right now. I suppose you'll be going back to California soon. California. You said you lived there, remember? No, I'll be traveling. Jeff, look. It's the sheriff's car. that tombstone pretty cheerful who bears the cross shall wear the crown Wilfred Butler my grandfather oh <gasps> someone left their sunglasses in the snow they're the sheriffs my lawyer's missing so is the sheriff you get strange phone calls. And now someone's fascinated by my grandfather's grave. Let's get out of here. You still want to go to my house? Yes. But, but I don't want to go alone. Listen. I'm not nervous. Well, of course you're not. Oh, it's the cold. I'm shaking from it. 
Let's get out of here. Okay. We'll get help in town. It's ten minutes' drive. Night, Mr. Toman. Have a nice holiday. Deputy's not here, but Toman is. Who's Toman? Come on, you'll see. Mr. Toman, wait. No, please, I have to talk to you. I'm sorry, this is Jeffrey Butler. He's the one who's selling the house. He can't get inside the place. And my father's gone to Wilton. So we wondered... Mm -hmm. Anything wrong? He'll tell us. Tess... has gone to his house. Why would she go there? I don't know. Anyway, she won't get in. You say it's locked. He says she hates the place. Would you like to drive there? Diana could stay here, lock herself in. I need a key. This isn't my house. It's Tess's. Tess isn't here. Are you satisfied? She 
must have gone to my place. Well, why wouldn't she go there? She hates it. Maybe she went to see the woman who's there. Someone called the mayor's house before. Said she'd be waiting. What is it? Some moms travel miles for a present, but Cash's mom traveled the country for her child's life. To St. Jude. Yep. Cash was diagnosed in California with a rare cancer. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital tailored a special treatment just for him. Our research helps save kids everywhere. Want to do lunch? Well, someone is feeling a lot better. Go to stjude.org or shop wherever you see the St. Jude logo. This is your Mac. It's a good Mac. It does those things you like, the music that you love, and most importantly, the work that you do. Sadly though, sometimes it does this. Or this. Or this. But before you do this, try Tech Tool Pro, your one-stop fix-it tool to locate the source of this so that this still remains your things that you love, music that you enjoy, and important work that you do machine. Tech Tool Pro, the most advanced Macintosh repair utility ever. Kids will spend 15 minutes watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Hi, I'm Linda Blair, and if you want to be scared, stay tuned on North Bay Television, coming up. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Hello, Jeff? Hello? Is anybody there? Who is this? I'm Diane Adams. I spoke to you before. Who are you? You know, Christmas Eve, 1935. Hello? Hello?
Sheriff, I saw your car. Bill, is that you? The person on the telephone said 1935, Christmas Eve, but that's not the beginning. In 1927, Butler House was restored by Wilfred Butler. After that, I find social notes, parties, nothing special. Then, in 1930, Butler's wife, Catherine, dies of tuberculosis. In August 1933, it starts. Wilfred Butler's daughter is cruelly attacked and raped. Her name is Mary Ann, the same name as the caller who left those messages tonight. She's 15 then. On May 2nd, 1934, Mary Ann Butler gives birth to a son, Jeffrey Butler. Jeff. Early in 1935, Butler House is turned over to a Dr. Robinson as an asylum for mental patients. And then Butler goes on to say that he has committed his own daughter. Mary Ann will live at the asylum. There's no end to this story. It's been carefully cut out of all the papers. Why would Toman do that? Tess has 40 bird cages. Toman is hysterical. Everybody's at my house but me. It's cold outside and you forgot to lock the door. Jeff, how old are you? How old am I? You mean how many years have I lived? No. There's a lot in the paper about your family. I don't want to talk about my family. Wait a minute. There's a woman calling and she says her name is Mary Ann. That was your mother's name, wasn't it? My mother died in childbirth. That's when I started traveling. It's not what the papers say. What's your point? I just thought that you should read something for your own good. Nothing you could tell me about my past or future would be for my own good. Where is the paper? It's on the table. It's 
so stupid to lie. I missed the whole event. Jeff, maybe your mother's still alive. Maybe she's waiting for you at the house. I don't know. Come on. No more side trips. Let's go out there. Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. Bosswick, you're watching North Bay TV. Buy my underwear. Awesome. Huh? This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. So, our operator friend is now dead, gone. I love the way they filmed that scene. You know, it's very cinematic. It looked like something Kubrick would do. It was creepy. Yeah, no, it, you know, I like good cinematography because we never get it on this show. It's all junk most of the time, you know, some of the films we show. And this one, no, somebody like took their time with the camera and made sure it was focused and everything. All right, well, more will surely die, and we'll find out soon. But let's get back to our guest, Steve and Anna from the Dickens Fair. So you were telling me during the break that you've got this sideshow thing that kind of ties in with what we do. <laughs> yes, tell, we do. Tell us everything. So in addition to our six singing shows a day, one time a day we do what is billed on the program as the worst sideshow in London, the yes. Congress of Wonders and Atrocities. And it is horrible, and yet the audience always loves it. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> we have a really, really badly done Frankenstein's monster. We have Clam Kid with a huge clam for a head. I we have an actual it. living Zoltar that yes. we crank up and gives fortunes. It's, oh my goodness. So mostly. every day at the fair, mm -hmm. you do this, but yeah. only once. Once at 3.30. 3.30. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we go, I'm going to make sure. It's we're all shtick. I think it's right up your alley. It no, is. It's, it's right up our alley, and our viewer's alley. So it's, it's like... A Comic Con horror fest, but different. <laughs> Something like that. No, it's really it's bad makeup. <laughs> we do have a new act this year, Spidora. Spidora. We have Spidora. Tell us. She is the she is an unfortunate accident in the Amazon, and she is a spider with a woman's head. Oh my goodness. But she doesn't want to be a horrible monster no. anymore. No. Uh, so sh does she like perform some kind of dance or so is this no, just like she no, wants to she be she wants to be a comedian. <laughs> Oh, a stand-up comedian, That's Amazon right. Spider. Spider. Woman. Exactly. <laughs> Told you it's no, the worst side show in London. <laughs> you've got a, a movie plot you could do there. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing how many people like that show. <laughs> so that part of the show is not part of your whole Sea Dogs. Not thing, our usual usually. yearly yeah. stuff, no. Right, no. right, right. Well, you know, it sounds like you're gearing up for some kind of special Halloween offering. 
We love you Halloween. Love no, Halloween. you should take this and like adapt it for Halloween. We've actually discussed that with some people. I've learned that Halloween is the most popular holiday in America. Really? It is. Oh, it's more popular than Christmas. And I love Christmas, but you know, I'm starting to love Halloween. We don't do it over the, the Halloween over there. At least, not like here. I mean, they do it, but it's... Mm. It's Halloween. done professionally <laughs> in America. Halloween. We love Halloween. We Halloween love is Halloween. the actual one month out of the year where we have a smaller band that does Halloween music. Oh, Halloween <laughs> music. We, we need to chat because, you know, we always need Halloween music on this show. We'd love to come back. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to get back to this film, and when we come back, we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? Right. Right. All right. Off we go to Silent Night, Bloody Night. It's going to get bloody now. Stay with Ooh. us. Dead. hands. Somebody cut off his hands. You killed him. You killed Tolman. He's asking for help. You killed him. Get in the car.
Butler House. The keys. He took them. Welcome to the Flamingo Hotel in Northern California's beautiful Sonoma County wine country. The hotel was built in 1957 to mirror the image of the original Vegas Flamingo design. It's always been the area's favorite resort because of its amenities and its strong connection to the glamour of Hollywood and Las Vegas. The Flamingo Conference Resort and Spa offers 170 guest rooms. It includes 14 suites and executive king accommodations. From all of us at the Flamingo Hotel, we thank you and look forward to seeing you soon. You can't control where it will land, only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how to protect your community from wildfires. You are watching North Bay TV, so stay tuned.
After the inmates started for the house, I went to get our car to take Marianne away. I do not know exactly when she slipped away from me. I assume that when they saw her in the dining room, the inmates believed her to be part of that household which they hated. And so, they killed her. Later, there was a celebration. And then most of the inmates fled, I don't know where. But I shall never forget what they did to my child. Since that Christmas, I have lived in prisons and asylums. Lived anonymously as an animal. I have wandered in bitterness until all seasons have become as one. And that is a season of vengeance. still alive. This is still his house. Your grandfather died in 1950. He was burned to death in this house. My grandfather poured gasoline over a squad he found here. The town wanted to believe he was dead. They still do. house was an asylum. There was a massacre by the inmates. Tess, Toman, the sheriff. Your father. No. All inmates. They killed my mother in this room. Oh, <laughs> 
I spent that night weeping. By morning, there were no more tears. I know that my father and Jeffrey both thought they were shooting at killers, but they were simply the last victims in that house of victims. And now, a year later, they will tear down Wilfred Butler's monument, but they can never destroy my memories of what happened here. And that brings a close to Silent Night, Bloody Night. That was quite an ending. Gory. A little bit of a twist. <laughs> Gory, and it was zombie-like. It was like uh, Dawn of the Dead. Very much. The original, with the zombies and the funny music. You know, I could watch this film again, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Because I've got great guests here. We're still with Steve and Anna from the Dickens Fair. And uh, they've been telling us all about the Dickens Fair and the Pirate Festival and that sideshow thing you got. That's wonderful. And the great thing is, you know, I'm sad that we did not have you perform tonight. But you don't have no. your entire troupe, right? So we no. can bring them on back. <laughs> I, I bet you two do fine just alone, right? As a duo. Maybe. Maybe. I bet you do. <laughs> so what do you got going on next? After the Dickens Fair. Well, let's see. We have a short break for a few months in the wet winter time. Right. And then we start prepping and planning for the Pirate Festival, actually. It must take a lot of time to get that show together. That's a bit of work. It's yeah. a bit of work. Wow. wow. A lot of moving parts. But then you were telling me that you've got things you do after the Pirate Festival until Dickens. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a couple of Old West events we do, and right. then it's Renaissance Fair, Renaissance Fair, Renaissance Fair, Pirate Event, Renaissance Fair, and we're back to Dickens Fair again. But you do uh, private events as well. We oh, yeah, yeah. So you guys are available for hire. So if you're having like a wedding or like some big <laughs> event. Like I don't think we've ever played a wedding. <laughs> no. Well, a big wedding. It's got to be a big one, yeah. right? Because yeah. well, we'll like, outnumber the guests. <laughs> right, 19 people in your troop. You know, maybe Google. Maybe the boss of Google will have a wedding. We have We've actually played at Google, Google, as a matter of fact. <laughs> See? See? That'd be a big party for the R&D department. I'm going to Google that. I wonder if it's possible. If you could say Google party, and it's just thinking you're looking for party because you said Google, right? Hmm. Maybe Google gets confused if you start trying to look in its sorted past. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So first, how do we learn more about the Dickens Fair? At DickensFair.com. All right. So you got to spell that for me. So it's www. D-I-C-K-E-N-S-F-A-I-R. This is it's an E on the end. No, no, no. Just the Renaissance e? Fair has an E at the end. Good question. All right. Dot Lots com. people get that wrong. Right, right. Yeah. No, no, no. I was thinking that it's like old British. All right. And then, <laughs> so how do they find out more about you? Seadogs.org. All right. So www.seadogs.com. Right, yeah. dot com. Easy. Dot org. Easy. <laughs> well, you guys have been wonderful guests. We're going to have Thank to you. have you back. And I think oh. what we're going to have to do is buy another camera so we can get the whole troop in. That'd be fun. That's right. Because we've just got these tiny cameras and they can only get small, small people. Many small people are just a small amount of large people. It's all we can do right now. But we're trying to upgrade. So. We'll have you back, and then uh, we're going to see you at the Pirate Festival. But before that, we're going to see you at the Dickens Fair. And uh, thank you. So thank much. you. This is yeah. lovely. It's great. Coming on our show. As far as you guys, thank you for watching this atrocity. You know, we share some bad movies here, but we've always got good guests. So that's a good reason for you to come back next week, or at least, you know, come back to see me or Livingston, or better yet, Tangella. But you know, she's going to be up for trouble. So. Don't miss it. We'll see you next week. So, Steve and Honor, I've got an idea. You've got a band, mm -hmm. and I just bought one of these. Ooh. Fantastic. So I'm thinking, you know, I've been practicing, and maybe 
you know, I can join. Let's hear it.